Hi, welcome to Pastor Talk. I'm Pastor Steve. I want to answer the question in this video, does God have a sense of humor? Several years ago, I, it's been quite many years ago, I had a man that, uh, that told me that I, he loved my sermons and my preaching, but, but he felt like I ought to add some humor. I ought to tell some jokes once in a while and lighten up a little bit. And, and, uh, and my reply to him at the time was that, uh, that I just didn't see Jesus telling too many jokes. I said, read Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. You don't see Jesus telling too many jokes. Now, if you look, you'll find he did have some humor, uh, what I call kind of some dry humor. You, you have to look for it, and there's some things he did that was kind of, uh, I think he was laughing inside as he was saying or doing different things. But, uh, but overall, let's face it, uh, the gospel's not a joke. Our souls are a serious thing. The suffering Jesus went through is serious. The cross is serious. Uh, judgment's a serious thing. Heaven and hell is a serious thing. And, and I think the Lord wanted us to know that. But by the same token, I, I do believe God has a sense of humor. I want you to listen to what the psalmist said in Psalm 2. I'm just going to read the, the one verse. It says, "He that verse It's Psalm 2, verse 4. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Now he was talking about those that didn't want to uh, be under the rule and authority of God is what he's speaking of in the first three verses leading up to that verse. I was talking to a, uh, to a, a, a lady friend not too long ago. And she was telling me uh, about something she heard about a conversation at her work. She wasn't there, so this is all secondhand. And I may not express this perfectly, but, but I'll be able to get the point across to you. But there was a conversation that went on at, at, her, at the place of her work, at her business. And, uh, and, and in the conversation, somebody was talking about the recent uh, Hurricane Sandy, because it's devastating, huge. And, uh, and it went to the area of Washington, D.C. and New York. And, is, and, and this person spoke up in the group and, and said, uh, he said, you know, I believe God is trying to get Washington's attention. That he sent this Hurricane Sandy because, you know, we've forsaken God so much in this country and he, he's trying to speak to the leaders of our country. Well, there, apparently there was a lady in this group that was offended by that. And she, she got, apparently from, now this is what was communicated to me, uh, that she got riled up and, and was offended. And, and the, she was offended at the idea that God was trying to get their attention. She didn't see it that way, obviously. But she made this statement. She says, and my God's not a he. My God is a she. Now the person I was talking to, of course, knows I'm a pastor. And she asked me, she says, what would you have said to the lady if you had been there? And I just thought for a second, I said, well, I probably wouldn't have said anything. You know, this, this lady was just geared up for, a, uh, for an argument. And, and it's, you know, we can't change a person's mind when they're in that kind of attitude. And, and I said, I probably wouldn't have said anything. I, you know, I wouldn't, go, I wouldn't say something just to argue with the lady. And then I thought for a moment, I said, you know, but if I did say something, I'd probably say, lady, what, what Bible are you reading from? Because that's not what my Bible says. I thought about this conversation later, and I couldn't help but to really kind of giggle. It's sad. There's some sad to it, too, but, but I couldn't help but to, gr to, to giggle a little bit about what this lady was thinking and the way she acted. I thought, you know, first of all, the lady's just lost. She doesn't know God, because if she knew God from the Holy Scripture, she'd know that He's our Heavenly Father, and she'd also know that God came and dwelt with us in the form of a male Jesus a man and uh, and so he's referred to continually through the Bible so you know that to me that's just a done deal there but I know God is spirit if you want to get real deep in your theology God is spirit but he did come as a man and he went and sit on the right hand of the father as a man but in a way I, I was thinking about this and I, I, I couldn't help but to giggle and, and laugh a little bit inside at the fact that she thinks that God is a she you know, she really does. 
she is what is being laughed at in the, in Psalm 2 where God's laughing because she doesn't want to be under the authority of God. She has made God in her image. She has made God in her image. And there's a lot of people and a lot of things could be said about that. Many of us see God the way we want to see them. You see, she worships herself and what she wants and she thinks that her thoughts and her mind and what she believes you know, is more important than what the scriptures say, what God says. She's made herself her own God. She does worship self. In fact, that's really the, the basis of uh, for non-believers. They try to please themselves, where Christians try to please God. There's the two, the dividing line, so to speak. And she's made God in her image. She worships herself. And I, I couldn't help but to laugh, because really, her God is a she, and the she is her. You know what I mean? She's made God in her own image. What she wants to believe is right and God's wrong and, and she worships herself and, and, and thinks that she has all the answers and she's right and it's all about what she believes and not what God says. And there's going to be a judgment day for her and that isn't funny, of course. But you know, God does have a sense of humor. I, I've, I've heard Christians say things. I heard two kind of discussing and getting a little upset. Two Christians one time and and uh, many, many years ago in my early walk. And one of them was saying, well, my God wouldn't do that. And another another one says, well, my God did, I believe. And and it doesn't matter what it is. It's, it's uh, you know, there's the mystery of what God allows and what he does and, and chastening and how he does it and and look at Job, you know. Uh, if you didn't have the story of Job, we'd say, well, God would never allow Satan to do such a thing. But God does have a sense of humor. And I have found out in my life that, and, and I have lightened up a little bit, I, I'm still not a joke teller. I just don't believe that uh, really that we were meant to be called as preachers and pastors to be telling jokes in our sermons. But I, I do put some humor in there with some things once in a while to, to kind of get a little giggle out of my people. They, they, they know me, my people do, and they recognize my sense of humor, and they, they can catch my sense of humor. i say something that's kind of funny and gets them to laugh. I, I have lightened up is what I want you to know. And one reason you have to lighten up is because if you don't, you'll be a very sad person. Laughter is like a medicine, and so I do believe there's a place for us to have some fun. In Sunday school, I'll hear the, the people in the other room while I'm preparing for my message and, and, and uh, getting myself mentally and spiritually prepared for that. I'll hear them laughing, and, and I think it's so nice that Christians can get together and laugh. But, uh, but of course, the gospel is serious. Souls are serious, and, a, and the business of the kingdom is serious. Well, I, I just wanted to let you know that God does have a sense of humor. And, uh, and, and and when he shows me how pitiful I am so often, I recognize I'd better laugh at how pitiful I am at times because we're all quite pitiful in our humanity at times. We need to have a sense of humor. Well, I hope this has answered the question, does God have a sense of humor? This is Pastor Talk for you, and I'm Pastor Steve. And God bless you.